President Obama ripping into Vladimir Putin during that same interview on 60 Minutes that's getting so much attention today. Obama refuting claims that Putin is challenging U.S. leadership in the world, saying, on the contrary, that he's essentially running Russia into the ground. Kevin Corn is live at the White House with the latest on this. Kevin. Hey, Jenna, good day to you. We've heard that argument before here at the White House. Actually, I think you and I have actually talked about it before. We've heard Josh Ernest, the press secretary, say the president's view is simple, that Vladimir Putin is so desperate to maintain this relationship with the Assad regime and make sure that they keep a foothold in Syria, that they'll do anything, even if it means hurting their own economy. But the president has been saying consistently that they're operating out of fear and out of weakness. And he says no matter how many sorties they fly, no matter how much in the way of saber rattling they uh, we see what they're really afraid of is a precipitous, disorganized fall of the Assad regime. They don't want that because they want to make sure that whoever the successor is will turn to Moscow and not to Washington. But what the president is arguing is that they're doing this. They're propping up a guy despite hurting their own economy. He's challenging your leadership, Mr. President. Yeah, He's no, challenging your leadership. That, 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 Steve, I, I, I got to tell you, if, if you think that running your economy into the ground and having to send troops in in order to prop up your only ally is leadership then we've got a different definition of leadership my definition of leadership would be leading on climate change and international accord that potentially will get in paris Okay, so the long view is simple. Assad will go eventually, but who will have a hand in picking his successor? That's what Moscow wants. The president says they're simply willing to run their economy into the ground to get that done. By the way, critics, Jenna, would argue that the more Moscow flexes its muscle in the region, the more other countries may line up behind Moscow, and that could weaken Washington's influence and power in the region. And I should also point out that the Soviet, or the Russians, that is, say that they uh, operated some, conducted 50 sorties over the weekend, and they hit just about all their targets. Again, that's the Russians uh, giving us that information. Meanwhile, the Pentagon says that the U.S. dropped some 50 tons of munitions and arms to support the opposition in the region. Things are getting very heated in Syria even today, Jenna. We're going to be talking a lot about this with General Keene a little later on in the program. Kevin, thank you very much for the roundup. A lot of news to get to regarding that.